Hey guys, Alex and Terry here going over Thursday's workout. Um, hope you guys are doing great, having a great week so far. Let's keep moving, keep getting that, that fitness in. Uh, we're gonna open up with a shuttle run. So we can run in place, we can do some high knees, butt kicks, or go for a short minute jog. We're gonna next do some leg swings oh. back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> so forward and back, side to side. We 10 forward and back, 10 side to side each leg. Uh, we'll move into a half pigeon pose next. So uh, we're gonna cross that front leg in, in front of our body and try and keep that shin perpendicular to our body, okay? Our focus is, is in our hips. Uh, you can, can move around doing this movement at every angle possible. Uh, we're gonna go into a, uh, a ankle mobility position. So a deep lunge, driving that knee forward. If you have a weight or even a bag of rice or potatoes, put that on top of your knee. And try and drive that knee as far forward as you can. You can even pulse out to your pinky toe, your big toe, hit different ranges of motion. Uh, next, we're gonna do a squat hold. So 20 second, this deep squat hold. You can add weight if you guys want. Want to keep those knees driving out, chest really, really high, and abs tight. After that, we're going to shed the weight or hold on to the weight if you guys want to for 10 regular body weight squats. So driving those knees out, abs are really tight on the way up, squeeze that butt really, really tight. Uh, we're going to do weighted lunges next. So again, with, with this warm up, grab weight or don't, whatever you guys want to do, just hold that in a good front rack position, secure, pushing it into your chest. Uh, and we'll do single arm thrusters next. We'll do five per side. Keep that elbow nice and tall, nice and high, and really secure that weight in that front rack position. We'll do five per side. Keep those knees driving out as best as you can, especially if you're doing uh, one side weighted uh, movements, okay? Back squats are strength today for regular programming if you have a rack and weights and everything. We're in week two of 11 of our new back squat cycle. And so it's a Chateau Wendler type new strength cycle, a different, uh, uh, mildly different approach, different adaptation and shock to our system. We're doing five sets at 30%, going up um, to 50%. After that, we're going into reps of three. So at 60%, 70%, and at 80%, it should essentially be a heavy three rep max where you're trying to push yourself to get max reps. So whether you get four, five, six, or more, you're just doing a max set, only one max set of reps. I'll have Carrie put, uh, get the bar on her back and show um, a few reps really quick. So pulling that bar into your back, abs really tight, knees out as low as you can, fight that chest up on the way up and bring those hips underneath your body, okay? So back squats for our strength. Again, that last set is max reps at that heavier range, only, only one set. For strength today, for at home, we're doing five to seven sets. We're gonna open up with five body weight squats, 10 weighted squats. So grab any weight that you guys have, hold it any way that you want. Try and get your body with some weight on it. Even if you're holding one of your kids, get about 10 squats in uh, safely. And then we're going to a 100 meter weighted carry. So uh, whether you grab a medicine ball, some weight, you can hold it in like a farmer's carry position. Grab your kid, um, carry even just brought up, even um, doing a partner carry. We're not liable and be really, really careful, okay? But um, you know, partner carry with you and your spouse or uh, I guess that's not necessarily social distancing for a friend, but uh, weighted carry, however you guys can, okay? You can use your dogs. Your dogs, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right guys, our wad today. We have different sections of reps. We're gonna open up with 50 alternating barbell lunges. So if you have a bar, awesome. Uh, if you don't, uh, we're gonna use a dumbbell or kettlebell. So the bar can be on your back. Uh, if you wanna do a, a front rack lunge, you guys can, just be careful. Um, so 50 total, it's 25 per side. We're gonna go then into five sets of 30 second sprint row and then a rest period. So back and forth, going as hard as you can uh, on that rower, on that bike, um, running if you guys can, a sprint back and forth for, for 30 seconds and then rest 30 seconds. Double unders, maybe an option. Double unders, that's awesome. Um, 50 barbell thrusters next. And so front rack position for this, maybe you wanna do the lunges on your back because you'll, you'll be front rack here. Um, keep those elbows nice and high, full squat, throw that weight overhead. I'm doing a single arm, you can do a kettlebell, dumbbell, 
We'll do maybe 25 per side, depending on the time that you guys have. And a wall ball, hold that in the front rack like you would if you're a wall ball shot. And you can toss it overhead, you can hold on to it too if you want. Um, after that, back into five sets of sprint row and rest. So again, salt bike, rower, running, double unders, ending with some more lunges. So 50 alternating lunges, whether you're on the barbell, dumbbell, or whatever weight you guys have, even your kid there as well. Um, 18 minute time cap for the wad. Um, if you want to finish it, if, if you run out of time, go for it. Just uh, make it your own, do your best, push yourselves through it, and uh, have a blast. All right, you guys, good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you too, Gary.